Hi everybody, hope you are okay and you're keeping dry in this pretty miserable weather. I mean, I say that, it's glorious sun where I am, but I've noticed that since Easter, the weather has obviously gone a bit bad and a few of you have been caught out in it as well, either in the high winds or the um, torrential rain. So I hope you're okay. Um, we ourselves went away at Easter. I was going to video it. I'm going to come on to that a bit more. We arrived in the wet. We got sunburnt for a few days and then when we were packing up to leave, it again tipped down with rain, but nevertheless, uh, we were okay, We're just a little bit of wet. This is a very much a waffle video. It's a storage yard video. Um, I used to do these quite a lot, uh, but I haven't done one for some time, where I basically update you with what's going on in our lives, uh, some developments, some news, good news, bad news, what have you. Uh, so it's in no particular order, um, but we need to address the elephant in the room and start with the bad news. Uh, yes, there is bad news. Our channel has been hit very recently with a lot of spam comments. Um, there has been a lot of people impersonating me, impersonating this channel and impersonating others, uh, basically saying that you have won something. Um, inviting you to a private chat, inviting you to join up to a telegram service. Um, it's a scam um, where you think to yourself, my goodness, that's fantastic. Uh, I've got an opportunity to win something straight from the Trojans. Um, and all you've got to do is just pay a little bit of admin fee for it to get sent to you in your country. Of course, it's a scam, but it's quite clever how it's working at the moment. They're impersonating this channel by creating accounts with a subtle change in the wording of the account name. I report it, it gets shut down, they get deleted, they get sent away, and then 30 seconds later it happens all over again. It's happening across all of our videos. Every single video which is public, we're getting the spam accounts who are putting replies to comments. So the story here is, I'm really sorry, I'm very, very sorry, it's got nothing to do with me. It's not my problem, but because it's happening on our channel, I'm responsible for making sure that you are not being hoodwinked and caught out. It is 100% YouTube's problem. It's their issue. It's their fault. It's only going to multiply onto other channels, smaller channels, bigger channels, more discreet channels. It doesn't matter. It's only going to get worse. Please, for the love of God, if you see a reply to any comment that you've made or you see a reply offering something for free, whether you've won something, whether you've been tagged in something else, whether it's offering you to go to a private WhatsApp group, whether it's asking you to sign up to a Telegram service, whatever it is, do not click it, do not sign up for it, do not do it. It's only going to cost you money and it's going to scam you. Don't do it step away from it. If I offer something for free, if I offer you um, a competition, if I offer anything at all, it's never going to be in a reply. It's always going to be in the description of a video. And I will say specifically, click on the link in the description. I think I've done that pretty much throughout the entire history of this channel. I think I've replied to a couple of people asking them to go to a certain URL to fill in details on our contact form. But please, make sure that a if i do reply to you it's from me check the wording carefully make sure it's our logo make sure it all tallies up i just I, I shouldn't need to be making this linking point but anyway make sure it's from me i can't say it's not going to catch a few people out you nearly call me out but just make sure that you are not caught out i think that constitutes the bad news but please be careful please that they're out there to get us all so whilst we're here and we're talking good things, let's go on to some good news. Um, I am now the uh, brand ambassador for Moving Intelligence. You would have seen recently, I did a couple of sponsorship videos for them. Uh, I introduced their new tracker, the MI01. And I also talked about the alarm and the tracker, which I have installed on this caravan and I have done since, since we got it, in fact. So what does a brand ambassador actually mean? Does it mean I get free stuff? No, not really. Um, I get asked a lot of questions. I ask to test stuff um, and my feedback from a person who actively uses the caravan. Um, and so, you know, it's good in that respect that I can give feedback to the manufacturer. 
because Moving Intelligence, formerly Phantom, are now a European country, they have different requirements for caravanners and motomers across Europe. And of course, us Brits do things in a slightly different way. So it's great to be able to give feedback to them about how we do things. But this also works out the other way as well. Think of me as a point of contact. If you have suggestions, if you have criticisms, if you have any feedback on moving intelligence um, and the alarm industry and the security industry in its greater realm, you know, you can contact me by putting a comment in the, um, uh, the video where I talk about such things. And it means that I can then feed that back. I can collaborate all that information together and I can feed it back to moving intelligence. It also does mean that I'm working with them in creating some specific videos for you which clear up some misinformation. There's also other things that we're going to focus on as well, specifically security on the caravan and how we can all work together to make things better. So it's a great opportunity. We've got some ideas and we've got some things planned for later in the summer. And we also have something planned for the October NEC show uh, where we... I and Moving Intelligence will be there together. and We're going to be doing something a bit special. So keep your eye out for that. But I thought I'd let you know uh, that in there I am now, in fact, regarded as the brand ambassador. So you might see things a little bit more security focused in the upcoming videos, which can help everybody understand what is required from them and their caravan and what you should be asking from your security company as well. Now, we haven't long returned back from a really lovely holiday over Easter, in fact. Um, and uh, I was going to video that uh, getaway, but when we arrived here, there was people at the storage yard. I didn't really feel like throwing my camera around and being a bit, you know, over the top in front of the camera, in front of everybody that was here, who were also getting ready to go away over Easter. And then the first day went by the second day went by where actually angela and i just did absolutely nothing we just sat down we read books we we did nothing and i don't think with the greatest respect you want to see two middle-aged people doing nothing on a video um and as i sat there and i pondered it and i spoke about it with angela and we both agreed this isn't a video really that inspires or or does anything like that. We've got some ideas of future videos where we do nothing. But one thing that we did both agree on is that we're going to create a couple of videos um, off the back of it. The first one is that we managed to go away for uh, a holiday over Easter and we spent under 140 quid on the entire holiday um that's not just the pitch fee that is everything that is the fuel that's the food and the drink that's the excursions the pitch fees um everything absolutely everything we bundled it all together and it came to less than 140 pounds and so i'm going to give you some top tips on how to save some cash but also i'm going to give you a rundown of what we actually spent on our easter holiday and i'm going to go through on how that is achievable certainly when you consider the easter is a mid-season so it should be slightly more expensive the second video which off the back of it as well is some top tips if you're going off grid we've done it now a few times um, we did it in the Lunar. It was a little more difficult in the Lunar. This one is far, far easier. But I'm going to give you some top tips as well. If you are thinking that you want to go off grid and save yourself a wedge of cash, um, I'm going to give you some top tips in a future video. So look out for those coming up. I'm writing them right now, in fact, um, and they'll be out soon. I don't know when, but they'll be out soon. So back to the bad news now then. Uh, I broke the caravan. Well, no, that's not strictly true. The caravan was broken. That's the best way to describe it. The caravan was broken when I came up here at the end of last year and I was filming uh, some scenes for Caravan Guard. I think it was caravanning in winter, one of their videos. And I had some outside shots of the caravan here when it was all covered in mist and it was all a bit dark and it was a bit uh, cold, you know. Just wanted some B-roll footage. And I noticed that the front panel on our caravan the front panel was coming away from the caravan. Now, I don't know if you know how Bailey caravans are built, but basically it's all one piece that goes around the front and up to the roof here. And then that lower panel at the front is a vanity panel and it just literally sticks to the front and it makes the front of the caravan look more attractive. 
couple of different stylings for different models, etc. It has no purpose other than makes the front of the caravan look pretty. The handles are pushed through it into the main structure of the caravan and it just all makes it look a bit tidy. The way it's held in is with a series of screws across the top just beneath the windows and then it's clipped into the awning rail frame uh, around the sides and then it's screwed up from the bottom as well. Anyway that was pulling out of the awning rail um, channels and it was starting to come away and deform and buckle quite considerably. So I spoke to my local dealership who agreed that they would get it in and have a look at it and what they have done is they've taken the entire front valance panel off, cleaned up everything behind it, refitted it, but also in the refitting process they've sealed it in using sealant which in my mind is how it should have been installed in the first place. Uh, complete sealant around it and it means that any muck that trickles down between the windows is now going to go straight over the top of the valance and not down behind it and hopefully it means that that panel will not buckle and not swell up with things like moss and stuff growing behind there which I think was what was happening with our panel. Going forward um, it's going to be a really strange time for us because Chloe is now of an age where she no longer wants to come away with us because for some reason she thinks that caravanning is not cool. I can't imagine why that is. But she doesn't want to come away with us anymore um, and so far it's been fine. We've, um, we've been away a couple of times without her and um, apart from getting home to a house which looks like a typical student den by the time we get back to it, um, it it's been fine. She's been really quite happy with us not being around. So we're going away in a few weeks time again without Chloe. She's actually going to be doing her GCSEs in a few weeks time so we don't want to get in to interfere with that at all. But it now means that Angela and I can go on holiday during term times which does reduce the cost quite a bit and also gives us a little bit more freedom in exploring adult only sites. Something we've never ever done because we've always been away in a caravan as a family. So there's two things going on here. We're quite excited at the prospect of going to an adult only site. We're quite excited about going away during term times, something we've never done uh, because we've always had to go on holiday when the kids are off school. So, uh, so that's a big shift for us. In terms of where we're going and what we're doing this year, well, we've booked up to, I think we've booked up to about August now. Uh, in a couple of weeks time, we go away to uh, Avalon. I think that's the name of the site down in Glastonbury. Angela loves it down there so we're going to go and spend um, a week down there. Um, I'm off to uh, Summers Woods in May. Uh, I'm filming with Caravan Guard so I'm going to spend some time up there because we've got a few things we need to do around there. Sadly Angela can't come with me on that one. Um, then we're going away for a few weekends here there and everywhere locally and then instead of having our main holiday during August what we've actually decided to do is we're going to go away in September um, and we're going to go and spend two weeks up in uh, Lady Margaret I think is the name of the site or at least around there uh, and that I think is the only time that we're visiting a Caravan and Motorhome Club site this year. Everything else is all independents and CLs pretty much exclusively. We're going away once, that's right, we are going away once in September to a club site. So it's going to be really interesting getting a year's worth of touring away from club sites in, in general and using different sites and different aspects. It's been very interesting so far in terms of what we're actually wanting from a site. Um, typically the one that we've just been to there was nothing. There was just fresh water, a bin and a toilet uh, waste point uh, and that was it. And that was perfect for us. So it does gain the question, well, why are we paying so much money for things that we just don't use? So that's what this year is all about. It's a bit of a discovery and I must admit we're enjoying it so far. So that's what's going on in the future. That's where we are at the moment. That's where we've just been. Um, I've covered the good news. I've covered the bad news. I think that's it really. Um, Maybe we'll do a, a Q&A video coming up very soon, both Angela and myself. We'll see how we get on. But right now, I need to get back to penning those two videos that I said I would get on with. So uh, there we are. I hope that has been a good update for you guys. And I hope you are all well and keeping dry and keeping warm. So uh, yes, until the next time anyway, many thanks for watching everybody. I'll see you very soon. Take care. Bye-bye.